Hi, I'm Jade and I'm a protector in Collective Mind and we are going to update our system introduction. The first video we ever made on this channel, I made and it was an introduction to our system generally and our new at the time YouTube channel. We have since made a separate like channel introduction channel trailer type thing, but because that video is so old, the original first video that we made, there were some things about the quality and stuff that don't hold up to our current camera and mic and lighting and background and all that. But also, we weren't very comfortable with filming yet, and like there were things about the pacing and the editing and all that stuff that we would do differently if we were doing it now. And some things that are just different now than they were then. And things like, I never said our system name when I made that original video. I somehow got through the whole thing without saying that our system name is Collective Mind. So there are some things that we wanted to update to uh, <laughs> fix some mistakes, update some things that have changed since then, and just overall have like a higher quality system introduction video so that people have a better like people watching it who are new to the channel get a better idea of what our videos are actually like now so our system is called collective mind that's why our channel name is collective mind did short for dissociative identity disorder which is why we have altars and why we put our names and pictures and everything on the screen we have a bunch of videos about DID if you're not familiar with it, and this is the first video of ours that you've seen. So I'm sure we'll have a playlist like that or something up on the screen at some point. But our system name is Collective Mind. I feel like I'm going to end up saying that six times throughout this video to make sure I don't forget. But our system pronouns, like our collective pronouns, would be they, them. So if you're referring to the system as a whole, we're plural, we have more than one person in our brain, so that would be they, them. And if you don't know who's fronting, or don't know the pronouns of whoever's fronting, or we're blurry, or any of those things, it would default to they, them pronouns. We do have individual pronouns by the names of alters who are currently fronting, so we usually do that when we have like the little co-conscious thing up that we started doing more recently. It looks like that. That is not accurate to right now. That was from an earlier live stream, but that's what it looks like. <laughs> and you can see, for instance, that my pronouns are next to my name and they're she, they, at least currently. But yeah, generally speaking, if you're referring to our system as a whole or more than one altar in our system or an altar whose pronouns you don't know or an altar who you don't know anything about, or you don't remember who it was, whatever. The default pronouns for our system would be they, them. We have been diagnosed with DID since fall of 2020. We're a polyfragmented system of over 200 alters. In that original video, we said over 100, but we have found more subsystems since then. <laughs> Which, speaking of, we have a bunch of subsystems, a few, uh, well, a couple different types of subsystems, which we talk about in a lot more detail in other videos, like our video on our inner world, we are about to be making a video on subsystems specifically, and how we uh, learned about ours and that type of thing. We also, in addition to DID, have been diagnosed with five other comorbid mental illnesses so far. We have a couple other <laughs> that we think we have, but don't have diagnoses for. And we have also been diagnosed with a physical disability called POTS, which is the acronym for Postural Orthostatic Tachycardia Syndrome, if I remember correctly, which the oversimplified way that I usually refer to it is it's a fainting disorder, but it has other stuff with it too, like fatigue and general like heart rate and blood pressure issues, etc. So the six total comorbid mental illnesses we are currently diagnosed with are dissociative identity disorder, uh, post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD, 
obsessive compulsive disorder, OCD, panic disorder, persistent depressive disorder, and major depressive disorder. <laughs> That's six. Yeah, I can count. It's fine. Those are the six we currently have diagnosed and all of those except DID uh, I guess the the depressive disorders weren't specified either until our current therapist but all of the rest of those were diagnosed multiple times with different therapists over the years but DID wasn't diagnosed until more recently, like I said, and uh, the depressive disorders weren't specified until more recently. For those various things, she's not uh, trained for bots yet, but we have a service dog who I'm going to wake up from my lap to show you. She's mad at me a little bit. You can even say that... I'm not sure if you can read that actually, but her little tag holder says service dog on it. Her name is Charlie. She's a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. She's, at the time of filming this, going to turn five years old in a few months, which is crazy that we've already had her that long. We've had her since she was a puppy, like eight or ten weeks old, I think. I think ten weeks old. We are about to start, again at the time of filming this, we're about to start our final semester of college where we are hopefully going to earn a bachelor's degree in integrated studies, which is like a flexible degree program, basically, where you can kind of build your own combination of focuses based on what you're most interested in. And we're focusing mostly on English and psychology. We have a partner system called Primal Pack. So we have a system who we live with and some of the alters in our system are dating some of the alters in their system. And uh, we're actually engaged to them also. So I am engaged to Sid from their system, who's one of their protectors, their primary protector. And Aura, our main host, is engaged to Onyx from their system. And Onyx is their host. <laughs> so as of right now, at least, those are the only two relationships between the two systems, at least dating type relationships, but generally, like, at whatever point that we get married, our two bodies obviously would be legally married, the systems would be legally married, but that doesn't mean that all of the alters between the two systems are in any kind of romantic relationship, but we have a video on partner systems as well at least one video. <laughs> like I mentioned, Aura is our main host. She has been for a little over 10 years now. And we currently have two co-hosts. Natalie and Liz are both co-hosts right now. We have two main external protectors who like front to protect basically. Currently, I'm one of them. I'm primary external protector and Jaden would be our other main external protector currently. You can probably see a lot of yarn behind me in various places as well as our bookshelf. We do a lot of knitting and crocheting. We have been doing that for years and we got more into it in the past few years. It's a nice relaxing like hobby and partly a job because we have an Etsy shop that isn't like physically intensive or mentally emotionally intensive, which is really nice for us with our various illnesses and such. We also have liked reading and writing for a long time, but generally speaking, those both lose a bit of their appeal during school. So we expect we'll get back into reading more once we're done with school because it's hard for us sometimes to continue reading for pleasure when we are reading on a deadline consistently. So over our summer break since the last semester, we have been reading less than we normally would and like having a break from that amount of reading basically. 
that is everything I have on my cheat sheet of what to say about our system. So I think those were all of the things that we wanted to cover and update and such from the last time. Uh, so I should do the end screen. <laughs> there we go. So I hope you liked this updated system intro video thing. If you did, you can click the like button. That's a good way to tell us. You can also tell us in the comments. That is another good way to tell us. It's doubly effective if you do both. <laughs> you can also subscribe and ring the bell generally to make sure you don't miss any of our videos. Both of those things are free and it helps YouTube tell other people to watch our videos who might also like them. So we also, as you can see on the screen, have a Patreon that is linked in the description along with our Discord server that we share with our partner system, which is a, another good place to come hang out and talk to us and a bunch of other systems and singlets. And we have the link to our Etsy shop as well is in the description. I think that is the whole outro. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye.